What's up everyone? This is Talbot Cox here coming to you live from Mr. Sanders house. This is the beginning of the perfect fit is what we'll call it. So check out this madness. Jim is a gentleman, right? Yeah. To work with Jim is very easy. Yeah. Okay. Jim will say, what do you want, guys? Okay. And then he right here we got a small frame. Yeah. Right here we got a medium frame. What do you want? Road bike. Jim, Jim Vinyl's is, old bike. You know, Jim's job is, he had the fit studio at the air, at the Velodrome. Yeah. Right? And before Alpha Mantis was designed. What's going on here today? <laughs> Sebastian was uh, last week. Did you uh, want to copy him? Yeah, just uh, just gonna from now on. I'm gonna watch his YouTube channel and I'm just gonna week do everything that he does. It's probably a good strategy. You can bleep this though. So I may while we're at it, I may as well outline to you what we were provisionally thinking, Jim, mm -hmm. which was he has his medium Indian Wells position yeah. that he that he just rode on Sunday, and that's going to be the first baseline, mm -hmm. um, and then. The next position is going to be on, that's a medium frame that he's running. And then the next uh, run is going to be on a small that we have put together a position on, but we haven't tested it like he's been riding the last position for a month and, okay. and obviously raced it. So we'll see where that is. Then while the small is going through its series of trials, Stefan and I can get the uh, medium that he has just tested on as in number one to its essentially most aggressive position Got it. Okay. Uh, and then we can run that as test three Perfect. so it's the medium and essentially the most pos aggressive position there's one adjustment that we don't have which is he can go 50 mils longer on a, on a base bar and, okay. and in and the pad yeah. but will it's it, the most aggressive position on his medium is 30 mils lower than he's just raced Okay. So wow, it is. That's a lot. It's quite it's a jump. Big jump. So, so that then from those three, I think we'll definitely have an understanding of what's jumping out, and yes. then from there, I suppose I'd reserve like what will be the fourth trial yeah, yeah, time yeah. permitting in that. We have plenty and that, of time. And and then that'll be kind. Of, that will drive it from there. Yeah. We will have time. This should go and pretty quick. And again, like I think everyone's aware of this, but just while we're at it, this is our first visit, and we're and I would be intending that we'd come back here like maybe like a late february or something and because whatever comes out of today we need to ensure that you know it's efficient for him he can ride it yes. it works in his training it works at the power loads and at the durations yeah. and then if we're happy on that then we want to again kind of reinforce or validate the numbers we thought we got first uh -huh. that drove us this direction and two we want to refine it with any sort of uh, finishing touches whether it's garneau with equipment or or else why or, it or be a long term development yeah for, uh, hopefully for years with this Rider. super canyon bag <laughs> sure. and we're going to keep the i think we you probably talked about this we're going to keep the actual data to ourselves and not share it with anybody unless you want to but otherwise we're going to keep that data to ourselves and, and the party line and that is that we're you know we're going to be analyzing this data after the session mm -hmm. you know so we're not we're not sharing what's going on now we're capturing the data, we're gonna analyze it, we've got some new software that we're running it through and mm. we'll, that's our party line. Yep. All right, power uh, for 70.3 versus a full. The, the quantity on average? Average power. Yeah. The last one I just did was 345, 70.3 on Sunday. Uh, and what would you expect out of a full? This just helps us calculate time. About, about somewhere between 310 and 320, my best being 318. Okay, we'll go 315. It just helps us calculate time savings yeah, for you. Yeah, sure. A little more accurate.
baseline just creates point A and how we get from point A to point B um, has yet to be decided but at least today we'll establish what point A is and uh, then it'll help us maybe drive some of the decisions that we face with regard to either his you know contact points his choices on crank length where we're going to put the arm pad you know people might think that this position you just pick a position and away you go it's not anything like that it's a case of evolving the position and 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 copper fastening it that it works for duration for intensity and with the rider and you know it's easy to come up with a fast bike position you can just slam the front end and call it good but uh, we need to know how well he's going to run off this bike so there's a lot of meticulous planning going into this uh, this objective. So the, the Alpha Mana system is is in in its at its base, it's actually very simple. We're we're measuring how much power does it take you to go a given speed. We don't care what the power is, we don't really care what the speed is. We like your own race pace, but the the software figures out all by itself um, what your what your drag number is by those numbers and there's some other stuff cooked in there that, that that's all part of the algorithm that we don't get to talk about but but in the end that's all it is how much power does it take you to go a given speed so for instance no go ahead go ahead okay uh, can you put on this note that uh, just saying for the only change is arm pads are into 11 okay. centimeters width okay so right now what we've done we've, we've done a couple different tests with Lionel um, trying to really get a baseline for for different positions to see where we want to go next so we're, we've tested both a medium sized bike and a small sized bike we're trying to determine the difference between those two bikes um, a couple different crank lengths so all these things matter to us um, and once we start being able to settle in on, on where he's at as a baseline on both bikes then we can start optimizing his position from there that's better in your baseline but 17 yeah. watts better than the same position but with your elbows out. Okay. What it is, brings your shoulders. Uh -huh. Bring your shoulders in, you're gonna get. Yeah, it you know, feels better. That's the strange it's, part is that it feels it sounds, better. Sounds dumb, but narrow is arrow. Yeah. Right? I mean, we can get your shoulders in, uh -huh. and you can maintain that position. You are going to go faster. <laughs> okay. B. That we do one six five and narrow. In one step. In one step. Yeah, that's what B. Yeah. And then we go low. Yeah, so yeah, two two know. real trials now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. You think the 165 is having a big impact there? Oh, we're getting your average power for the lap. Okay. okay. We're getting your uh, speed in kilometers per hour. We're getting the distance you travel. Wow. Um, so, amazing. Yeah. So we get everything. Very cool. So it wouldn't take much to get over 48k an hour. No, there. you could you you could easily do that. All right. You're on a geared bike too, right? Does so that all about, have an impact? Yeah, if you think took about all that stuff off. Oh, it's going to have an impact. Huge the hydration. All right, give me my coach for when we try to break the Canadian. <laughs> <and all. laughs> oh yeah. That's my cue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so what are we doing here, Ivan? Next trial in the bike, but we're just looking at some motion Movement data patterns. from him as we're changing this position. I promise I'm not putting my hand anywhere. I'm not supposed to. He enjoys Don't get this on film. Don't he enjoys this. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> OG. How you feel thus far, and what are, where are we heading next? Uh, we're going to go out on the road, and we're going to do a little bit of outdoor testing and uh, we're just trying to reconfirm what we're learning from here and uh, see if we can repeat it on the road real conditions big difference between riding around here in circles and been out in in certain crosswinds and how how these positions actually feel on the road so it's all a process uh but what i'm gonna need you to do here is what's a, what's is 300 ps uh 300 uh power something you can easily hold I like so like 360 on those tests in the track okay so track.
So are you, are you happy with everything you got accomplished today? Did you yeah, accomplish no, this what you wanted great. to? This has been a great uh, session today, absolutely. I'm excited to uh, analyze the data. I mean, without a doubt, uh, we're picking up some, some wattage right now uh, over yesterday's race or two days ago's race. Uh, the question is how much and uh, how much more can we get? Sebi picked up 50 watts. On 50? His, yep. I just picked up 85, bro. Come oh. on. Come at me, bro. Come at me. What all did you guys get accomplished today? Well, today was a busy day. I suppose I just summarized it in, uh, you know, we, we went in depth looking at Lionel's position choices on the track and then we came out and we tested on the road in some kind of real life circumstances um race conditions so uh yeah we've got a lot of data to process at this stage um did you guys decide on a small or a medium that decision hasn't been made yet you know there's going to be factors uh what the aerodynamicists say uh what what lionel says himself about how it handles and uh ultimately this position needs to be stress tested through his training blocks so um I think we've, you know, we're going to have some clear avenues out of this and then we're going to have to be very careful in kind of how we progress on them. With that, so you're not just going to say this is the best position or you're going to let him ride that or how does that go about? Yeah, like the, the rider gets the rider gets his say for sure, you know. Um, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to like layer a position, we're trying to mold a position and then it's multifactorial, you know. So I've kind of outlined already what those factors are and then when we when we process all that and we come up with a plan um, to progress his position, then it has to go into training and then through that we'll we'll see if it's actually clicking or if we need to adjust again. So we have no conclusions drawn, we just have amassed a, a great amount of data and uh, also a quality data that we'll be able to repeat because again within eight weeks we'll be doing some more of this to ensure that we're getting consistent data and again to reconfirm that we're on the right road are you happy with everything you guys got accomplished today yeah like a day like today is a hectic day you know canyon are putting some big support and resources behind him um he's got a great team around him there's uh, one goal and that's Lionel and in this in this outcome so everyone that was here today is is working towards that and I think uh, I think it was a very uh, very productive day